Hey dudes and dudettes, this is Mr. Ray Honda and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Um, while I was gone, I took the opportunity to go and slay a Catchawatcha. And after I slew him, the Guildmarm all of a sudden needed, uh, needed some help. Doodle, the guild wants you to investigate the Everwood. A rare monster has been sighted there. And I'm afraid there's no time to lose. Since this is uh, this is direct from the guild, I'll find it under. You'll find it under. Oh, I'll file. I file it under urgent quests. Be aware that the rules of this quest are the same as those of standard quests. For example, you fail if your health runs out three times. If you pull it off, though, the same monsters may end up. Tur Ooh, turn up during it. Okay, cool. Anyway, pack those antidotes and let's get. The show on the road. Ah, oh, Boss Rios. Okay, I'm gonna go get antidotes first, and I'm going to eat as well. Okay, we're off to fight the Boss Rios. Um, I ate, and I got some antidotes. Here's some rations with me, which are good to have. Ration. Four of them as well, that's good. I love the music in this level. It kind of reminds me of, um... Threads of Fate. If you've never played that game or haven't seen it, I did a let's play of Rue's story. Feel free to check it out on my channel. It's called Threads of Fate. Let's play. It's not too hard. Oh crap, this is a torch. It's not too hard to find. It should be under my long let's plays uh, category on my main channel page. Okay. Okay, so these there's these jumbo rocks. Which are very handy. Very handy indeed. Because he has this attack where he charges at you. And if you stand in front of them, he'll tackle into them and they will ignite. Uh, and often they will burst his chest open. After a few, sh uh, after a few shots, though, not right away. Uh, might as well do some mining while I'm here. Oh, I was going to say, maybe we'll get some rare stuff. But, uh, no. No, we didn't. We got earth crystals. Uh, but I found the boss of Rios. He he does blend in with the other rocks a little bit. When you're not when you when you don't get a cutscene. Oh, it's me. See, as you can see, there's a bunch of rocks, but he's the one da standing right there. Oh. oh my God! I jumped on it. Really? One, I didn't even know you can do that. Now this monster's uh, returning. He's oh, he looks amazing. He looks way different than he used to. But uh, yeah, this is this is the boss Rios. He's from the first game. He's pretty much solid rock. Luckily, we get to start off in mounting position. I think. Yep. Oh, this is so cool. I've never fought a boss Rios in this game yet. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, screw your face. He digs though, so I'm gonna definitely want to paintball him. Right, okay, we'll do up. Buddha! Oh, I'm actually breaking through his shell. Usually you deflect because... Well, there you go. That's why I deflect. Because he's made of solid rock. But his legs seem to be... Ooh. His legs seem to be a weak spot, which is good. Watch out, cat! Uh. Boop! Boing! Busting right through here. Bah! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hammer time. Roll! Dang it. Oh, he pack a little bit of a punch there, buddy. Potion. Might as well herb it up. That sounded like a pot joke. I'm so sorry. It's not what I meant. I promise. You can chop off his tail, but if you're a hammer user, you can't really 
chop tails off. Unless I th there's a rumor that the axe hammer could um, chop stuff if your if your hammer is actually sharp looking. Oh, ho -ho! roll over, buddy. Yeah, he's very slow, as you can tell. Oh, this music though. I'm not sure if he's weak to fire or not. I don't know what his weakness is. I assume water, because he's rock. That's Pokemon logic, though. Okay, my, my sharpness went down, which is going to happen quite a, quite a lot. I'm going to want to mount him, though. Huh, and boom! Mounting time has begun! <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really excited. He's going to roar! Spam that button. Double roar, really? Well, guess what, Boss Rios? You're going down. Boom! Oh! Looks like I broke his back crystals a bit. Which is actually kind of unveiling, unre un unveiling Mechalidor. Mechalidor. Well, that mount wasn't really worth it because I didn't get any good hits on him. But that's my own fault. Yeah, that's definitely Mechalidor. Is he fleeing? No. Oh, you're creepy. Wait, did he drop a shiny? I don't think he did. No, he didn't. Hopefully he flees to the other area. Boom! Because that would be nice. I'd be able to uh, use those rocks to my advantage and hopefully bust a hole in his chest cavity. BOOM! Well, it's good for you to run away, but... No, let's mount this mofo again. Where are you going? Where, where are you? Oh, okay, he's just walking up to me. Oh, and BOOM! Missed completely! And he's gonna roar. I don't have any high-grade earplugs or anything. I can't believe how bad that miss was. Oh, whoa! Hey, buddy! Wow! Alright, hey, calm down there. Oh, he's enraged. That's, that makes sense. That's not what I wanted to do either. Haha! <laughs> Little bum face can't do his big daddy beam. Yeah, his father, the Gravios, can uh, do this really big fire beam. Well, I mean, that was a hit. Oh, whoa, buddy! How even do you... Gravios up there. Gravios? I mean, Boss Rios up there. Hup. Yeah! That was directly through, too. Boom! Boom! Yeah, he takes little nitpicks off of you. Oh, and he's roaring. Oh, I love his new design with all the moss on him and everything. That was never that way. He was always just rock. And he's got little bits of moss. So that must mean fire might actually affect him. Oh, well, he... Okay, well, he fled. There's also a butt-ton of mounting places in this, uh... This part. Huh. It says he's here. But where... There he is. And you can obviously tell that's him because I cracked his shell. So this time, his shell is actually different than the rest of the rocks like that. But this is it's also the only one like it. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, he's exhausted. That's good. He's also dropped a shiny. Let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Why right here? Worth it. Points. Let's use these boulders. Um, where are you, Boss Rios? Oh, 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 here he comes. Eh. He stopped. Hopefully he'll uh, charge at me again, though. 
Yeah, these rocks are really fun to use. Watch, you'll see. Bombs, bombs, and apparently hammers are like the best thing to use against him. Did he lose interest in me? Come on, buddy. Oh no, he didn't lose interest. All right, here we go. He's probably gonna charge now. Yep. Oh no! Please don't detonate it. He missed. Whoa! Lava bloom. He never did that before. Lava bloom. Bloom. Oh yeah, there we go. Broke open his chest. Yes, yes, yes. Is he fleeing already? He fled. Wow. One rock. And he fled. Let's see if I can kaboom on him. Whoop! And kabooshki. Whoop! Thank you, kitty. Damn it. Oh, come on. Boom! Ah, oh, I was expecting that to actually make him flinch or something. Whoop, and kaboom. Oh, wow, I killed him? What? Come on. That wasn't even a challenge. Boss Rios, you're so much weaker than you used to be. They nerfed you quite a bit, baby. Oh, well. Oh, I love his back shell when you break it. It's so pretty. You gotta appreciate the time and effort they put in to each one of these monsters. I don't even think my weapon is that strong and I was able to really... Ooh. I should definitely upgrade my weapon soon though for other monsters. It was also really cool to be able to come into the Ever Forest and uh, fight the Basarios like this but not have to run to the wagon. I actually just... It was like a normal quest in the Ever Forest. It's really cool. Shell, Flame Sack, Macalite Ore, Bossario Shell, Wing, ooh, Macalite, Macalite, Shell, Ivy, Ivy, or Herb. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow, you got a Flame Sack and a Shell, too? Oh, my cat got an Earth Crystal. Sweet! Oh, there's a Venom Lance. I don't know if that's from Bossario's, though. Oh, it is. Bossario's Wing. Oh, there's the Helmet. That's really cool. I can already make the plate body, that's really awesome. Actually, we've already seen the armor. The uh, the guy was wearing it. So I don't really have to show it to you again. Because yeah, the guy, the guy, uh, the ace hunter dude was wearing it. Alrighty. This guy. Well, Hunter, it looks like the time has come for you to set sail. But before you do, I need to tell you one thing. These are dangerous waters. Consider yourself duly warned. Anything at all, at all can happen once you go out to sea. Make sure you're fully prepared. That means item pouch, your equipment, everything. Got it? Right. Enough lecturing. So are you ready to head? Okay. No, because I'm going to try and upgrade my weapon first. Well, I can't upgrade my hammer, so let's, uh, let's just do it. Let's just go. Ready to set sail. Right. All aboard the our luck then. Our luck. Our luck. Sounds like um an Inuit term maybe. Look at this lovely cutscene. So freaking pretty. Now we have our own ship. How wonderful. Ah, so cool. She is kind of scary. What language they speak? Oh, here comes the storm. Not only is it a storm, it's a freaking Nargakuga. No, what am I saying, Nargakuga? Gormagala, I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely sure of it. This is going to be a Gormagala. Oh my god, here he comes. I knew it. I think I actually saw this cutscene a long time ago, though. That's why I know. God dang it. Why a Gormagala, of all things? Just give me, like, a Kuropeko or something. Of course, I'm a left on board. Oh, I like that loading screen. It's really cool. Oh, hi! 
Yep. That's cool. Criminy, what the hell kind of monster is that? Well, this is no time for flipping through bestiaries, Hunter. We gotta repel that thing pronto. Try to try to wear down its health with the two ballistas and the Dragonator on the ship. You can fire the br okay, I know how to do ballistas. Doodle, are you okay? Don't tell me... Wait, don't tell me you caught it too. Oh no. You're exhibiting the symptoms of a mysterious virus. We've got reports of it recently. I just checked the... Um, the latest dispatches. Damn it. This is by your take... Oh my god. It's called the Frenzy Virus, by the way. Uh, you have to act quickly before the virus consumes you... You have to boost your immunity or to, and overcome it. Doodle, give it everything you've got. Attack the monster as much as possible. Okay. That's fine. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I can't actually see anything. It's very hard to fight a Gormagala on a ship. Where are the ballistas at? Oh, those are not cannonballs. What? Where are the cannonballs? Gotta collect ballistas. Wish they gave me some on my own, but... Oh my god. Oh, come on! This is a very hard quest. And I'm screwed because I didn't break the virus. Doodle, you've learned more... Oh, I've learned more about the mysterious virus you caught. Pretty disturbing stuff, I'm afraid to say. Uh, if you can't fight off the virus in time, it'll saturate your... Okay, eventually... You lose natural ability to heal and take increased damage. Virus effect, okay. Oh, God. Well, great. Now I got the debuff. What? And I'm confused somehow? That's not fair, man. Oh, hey, they gave me stuff. Alright, let's go wreck this guy. Do it! Oh, thank god I got there in time for the Dragonator. Missed me. Aw, oh, dang it, no. Oh, hey, I don't have the virus anymore. But it's coming back up. Where is he? Oh shit. Okay, ballistas are very useful right now. But. Shoot him in the face. It's really hard to hit him when he's on the deck with me, though. Oh, my God. Dude, give me some room to hit you. Oh, holy shoot. Seriously? No, no, I'm going to die. I'm going to do... No, thank you.
Oh, fuck off. This is really not fair. I should have eaten. Come on, I even hit it with the Dragonator. Give me, give me something. There we go, got a flinchy. Oh, the Dragonator's ready for use again. That's good. Oh, shit. I jumped in the water. Oh, wow, really? That was... Okay, well, it wasn't that hard, but shit. With limited room like that? Returning supplied items. Quest complete. Doesn't look like I repelled it. He's kind of just staying there on the ship. Ooh. Defiled scale. Yay. One freaking item for all that. Ugh, what a pain in the butt. Nice save! Holy shit! They broke part of our ship, though. How does a ship even move at that speed? Wait, what? Yes, save my progress. Hell yeah. That was an amazing cutscene. That was a really fun fight, but also really frustrating. Like, holy crap. Everyone below deck, grab onto something while I land us someplace close. Huh. Is this Cathar? I don't think this is Cathar. Okay, the ace dude guy is now using an insect glaive and he has Kazu armor. This is lovely. Who we? Well. We're not dead. Even you made it, Hunter. Pleasant surprise. Bless my heart, that was a shock. Are you alright? Oh, bless my heart, that was a shock. Are you alright? Do you, um... Do your phalanges hurt? Would you like a hot meal? Yes, I would like a hot meal. I heard what that monster did to you, sugar and... Sugar on toast, I nearly fainted. Oh, it's called the Chico Sands. Okay. Uh, welcome to my village, the Chico Sands. Uh, there's little to see here besides me and felines, but it's home sweet home. Please stay and rest for a while, you poor darlings. How much do you remember, kindred hunter? Did you see this dang fool ram the monster with his ship? Har har. If he hadn't have done that... If he hadn't have done what he did, you and me would probably have gotten splattered into many nautical nuggets. Forgive me for being contentious, Lord Scribe, but I could not allow a ship in distress to go without rescue. Uh, I am not certain that describing me as a danged fool is entirely apt, sir. Like I said, a danged fool, har har. Anywho, we managed to wash up in Chico Sands with all our bits intact. And let me tell you. That says a lot about the man's craftsmanships and and your bravery, Kindred Hunter, still. Who'd have thunk we'd bump into the guild's most dangerous mark? They've thrown all they've They've thrown all they got at that thing. Even the Ace Hunters. And we still don't know half a wit about it. Dangitable luck is what this is. It's got a name, at least. The Gormagala. It's a true menace. Vicious, unpredictable, once its indiscriminate chaos has been wrought, it vanishes. We must learn its habitats, what sustains it, and then put an end to this creature as soon as possible, no matter the cost. Lord Scribe, I must insist you leave this dangerous matter to me and the Ace Hunters. No one expects you to be a hero. 
<laughs> Hero? Shoot, son. <laughs> We're just trying to not collectively kick, kick the bucket. That dangerous matter of yours came after us. Then might I advise you employ a more capable hunter, sir? Hey now. Ixnay on the low blows. Ixnay on the low blows. I've got a keen eye for hunters. I know something special when I see it. Regardless, we'll take your say. Um, we'll take your sage advice and try not to stir up any any dung <laughs> while we stick out a uh, out for strike out for Cathar. Sorry about that. What's that, dearie? You mean you're trying to get to Cathar? I suppose no one's told you then. Whoa. The village of Cathar was built way up high, the tallest of mountaintops. I'm afraid that not even the finest ship can take you all the way up there. Huh? What? A village in the sky? Who we? Now that's... Now that there is a sour pickle. But I love pickles, har har. So I say we... Uh... So I say we hunker down and start finding a way to kiss the sky. Granny... If you don't mind, we're gonna uh, shack up your village for a spell. Really? Goodness me. Then could I ask your hunter one teensy favor? Very recently, a dreadfully m large monster has wandered into the vicinity of Chico Sands. At Sunsnug Isle, you will find a young feline, Miss, who is uh, absolutely determined to protect the village. Um, it's just offshore from the beach. Be a deer and see what the miss has to say, would you? Okay, cool. Well, now we got freedom to roam, which is good. Where's my box? I'm gonna put that scale away. Actually, I already did. So I'm gonna put the nullberry away. Gosh, dang. Okay, uh, who's over here? What's this? Oh, it's a cat. Well, where did all the sh thugs come from? Where, where did all these thugs come from? Why won't everyone just leave me alone, Mew? Hmm, who's there, a hunter? Are you here to scout me? To f force me into horrific... I skipped it too soon. Well, forget it. I'm a washout. A pelly coward. A nobody, Mew. I c c can't hunt to save my life. Oh, the poor, poor kitty. Mew there. Hello. Welcome to the Chico Meowkit. Oh god, the cat puns. The cat puns. Can I interest you in purchasing from potions to antidotes, exhaust shots, uh, to exhaust coatings? We carry it all. Meow personal recommendations are the hot drink and deodorants. Say so long to coldness and stinkiness, Meow. So what can I provide? Provide for you. Uh, I have nothing to sell. I'm gonna buy some herbs. I'm gonna buy some potions. Well, I don't seem to have anything too new. Ooh, Herbivore Volume 2, Fanged Bees, Samtrios, Shark Wyver or Snake Wyverns, my bad. Cool. Got a bunch of new books. Oh, there's another person actually over here who wants to chat. This island is very purdy. Which one of you is it that wants to... Oh, this guy. My, what a shock. And not just the monster. Look where we washed up. This is Chico Sands. My fellow merchants and I call it the Village of Strays. I name it... Oh, and the name is not only funny thing... Ugh. And the name is not the only funny thing about it. The only way to even get to Chico Sands is by losing your way. But... What is that smell? Opportunity? I believe it is. Once I gather all manner of Chico Sands rarities, I will be trading up a storm. We he. Of course you will help me do it. Of course, you'll help me do it, Hunter. I filed a quest called Oil Toy. Okay, so it's like Toth Oil. Yeah, I knew it. Although the uh, the path doesn't actually really uh, go all the way there, now does it? Just win. It's tropical music, though. Oh no way! The the Hero Sword is back, or not the Hero Sword? That's the. Uh, yeah, the old hero sword, or hero replica. Why is that all the way down there? I want to go get it. Meow. This is a fine predicament. Whatever am I going to do? The palicos won't rally to my claws and white scruffs. Oh. And white scruffs too cowardly to be of any help. There's just no hope left, Meow. 
I sweep and sweep this feline paradise, but for what? Um, I was ready to care for 20 palicos, but I haven't managed to whisk up even one. I can't keep doing this alone. Meow? A hunter? Oh, how meow-tifying? How long have you been listening to me, me meow mewling? Well, don't go judging me. Just because you saw a moment of weakness. Oh my god, the cow puns. Cow puns? Cat puns. I have a broom and I'm ready to use it. Yeah. A large meowster, meowster, meowster is closing in on the village. And I mean to protect it. That's why I've been looking for uh, for brave and wild er, and strong wild palicos to join my... Whatever. Did you see one of the flyers in a bottle floating in the sea? No, meow. Anyway, wild pal... Uh, anyway, wild palicos are wandering... Anyway, wild palicos are wandering palicos who don't serve any meowsters. I thought they would flock to this island paradise I oversee and become village per uh, garrison. Yeah? Right now the isle has a right now the isle has accommodations for twenty of them. I was hoping to get at least one meow. Was it something I put in the flyer? Huh? Wait, meow! Up there in the sky, something's flying right towards us. What? 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 What's flying towards us? Sweet! Not entirely sure what the heck that was, but... That li that line-like physique? That anything's possible look in your eyes. Can it be? Is it? You're the Ace Palico, Meow. I can't believe I'm standing in front of the biggest hero purr. Wait, what's this? There's a letter tied to the arrow, yeah? Hmm, let me see. Kongalala has invaded our hideout. Send help immediately, meow meow meow, wild palico. Oh my whiskers, this is terrible. A wild the wild palicos are in trouble, yeah? What's that, Ace? Really? You and your hunter you and your hunter minion, really? Are willing to put your fur on the line to rescue the wild palicos? Purr, so dreamy. Meow. Well, if that's settled, I'll do what I can to provide help from here. Okay, anyway. Basically, now we just gotta kill a freaking Kongalala. Which is totally cool. Uh, these are Palico boards. Okay, cool. I think this island was actually in the, uh... The spin-off game. Okay, so there's no Palicos here. There's not much I can do on the island at the moment. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go back. I just realized how much time I, uh... I've been spending in this video, so I'll have to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the adventure today. If you want to help the growth of the channel, share this video with friends or any of the videos that I've done because it really helps. Till the next one, I'll see you then. Bye.